But first, the second night of College Beach Weekend looked a bit different than last night. Thousands of people, including college students, families, and people from the area, descended upon the oceanfront. And Angelique Arentock has the story. While it wasn't the most ideal weather for beachgoers, it's very cold. I did not check the weather before I came, but it's still enjoyable. Crowds on 2022 College Beach Weekend picked up Saturday. It's a nice flow of people, but it's not overcrowded. Overall, it hasn't been as busy as city leaders expected. John Zirkel, president of the Virginia Beach Hotel Association, says a fair amount of last minute bookings came through by Saturday, but he doesn't expect many more reservations going into Sunday. Many of the oceanfront stores and restaurants stacked up stock and staff for College Beach weekend. Ashley Vestal, general manager of Doughboy's Pizza, says this is a benchmark for tourist season. For sure, this or Shamrock a couple weeks right. ago, that was a big one. Just really looking forward to the season and we want to get fully staffed as much as possible. And regardless of how many people end up visiting the oceanfront, patrols are ramped up. Police are either walking or driving around on horseback, bikes, and watching surveillance cameras closely. There's a lot of police walking around here. I see that they're ready just in case something happens, so I, I think that's pretty cool. In the past, College Beach Weekend typically fell later in April. The last one in 2018 and in previous years took a violent turn. In an interview with 13 News Now, Police Chief Paul Newdigate promised swift action if any weapons violations or physical violence take place. At the Oceanfront, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. And city leaders tell us that there are other events like sports tournaments happening this weekend that could bump up crowd sizes at the oceanfront.